Welcome back YouTube to Let's Incompetently, or comp Competently, play uh, Plants vs Zombies. Right, oh god, a snorkel zombie. Uh, does that mean that he can, he's like the pole vaulting zombie? Jump over, jump over the thing so maybe he'll be able to occasionally swim under uh, one of my plants. Ah yes, we got this monster last time, the three Peter. Blimey. Uh, let's take a sunflower. Lily pad, of course. A three Peter, a squash, because we found that they were good. Um, probably a snow pea. Maybe a walnut. Let's take a walnut and a chomper. Let's go. It really should say let's plant, but I suppose it does say it here. Oh, yes. And the, and the different music of these levels. I can't remember if there was actually different music for the night levels, but there probably was. At least I now. At least now I know of a particular kind of level that's going to be coming in the future. It's a lovely comment to spoil it, but it's 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 okay because I don't know necessarily what parts of the level it will entail. Okay, uh, I haven't really got anything that I can quickly drop down except for a squash. Yes, I will use it. So I just need to establish my sun for the moment. Okay, another one. I should be able to build a chomper. And three Peters can go uh, here in this lane. Yeah, so I think I'll just wait for a squash for that zombie. Because he can be dealt with quite easily. That rage face. Oh, loads of sun coming in. Okay, suppose I'll use a snow pea for this one. Put it here. So it's like a normal pea, so it requires 10 shots, as I remember it, but it's slowed so he'll be able to do it in time. Okay, maybe we should start building some actual defenses. Let's get rid of him with a squash so that buys us enough time to build more sunflowers. Ah, but then I've got nothing to get rid of him. Okay, I'll build a chomper for him. Hmm, intended to put it on there. I suppose I'll keep preparing the lily pads. And I think I'll just use a chomper again for this one. Okay, he might not get eaten in time. So I think I'll squash him. life on the edge trying to build up loads of sun. Of course this isn't the very most graceful way to do it because it's so subject to questioning. Because he might duck under something so we're just going to test that. Put a walnut there and then put another leap out with a chomper behind it. Another chomper in front there. Even though that one's closer. It's okay I'll squash him. Come on, one more sun. Oh. Oh no, that was just a duck one, that wasn't a snorkel one. I was mistaken. Take him back up. Want to build another chomper here. It's a lot of chance for the repeater, but it's so expensive. That's why I'm building up so much sun so that I can actually build these things. Because I can't dedicate that much to one lane. To build a three Peter early on. But I suppose this is a longer level, which makes it worth it. Okay, a three Peter for this lane. Oh, it actually shoots across lanes. So it shoots three lanes. Okay, so that means I could place it there and there and get full lane coverage? Yes, you can get full lane coverage. Okay, that's interesting to know. I'll put another one there. Because that can now shoot loads of them. I suppose disadvantage to a squash against a cherry bomb is that it can only kill a single target? I believe. And no diver zombies have been seen yet. 
They'll come eventually, though. There he is. So I suppose he can't be shot until he gets to the lily pads? Oh no, he can still eat the lily pads. And then goes back underwater. Okay, got eaten. It's fine. Just need to move that forward. Oh, did I just get rid of my chopper? I meant to get rid of the walnut and the chomper so I could bring that further forward. Squash him. Wow, so if I set up lots of three Peters in each lane, then I'll be set to win. Ah, oh, yes, money. I'd forgotten about that. So I'll be set to win. I suppose it's the lowest on the bottom lane that's in most danger now. At least the cooldown barely matters because it's so expensive. You know, I'll just squash him. Oh, there's actually, um. Had I not rebuilt that, I'll just quickly eat him. Oh no, we shot off his head. That's alright then. I was getting FPS like then in this game. I thought, wow, my computer really not handle that. It's all right. There we go. Haven't had much structure this, to this level, but we seem to be getting there eventually. By structure, I mean on my behalf. The game's still perfectly fine. It's just I'm bad. He should get eaten immediately. Is that right? Yes, good. Ooh, lots of zombies coming in, it's not even the uh, the final wave dramatic moment. Okay. There we go, so now we've prepared enough three Peters to uh, basically clear the entire wave, which is just about to come once we've killed him. means walnut. Walnuts must be prepared. Okay, we've got our front line. Let's hope that we survive it. With all of these three Peters going. It should fire enough into them that it'll get them. Of course he can just swim under. I don't know how you're actually supposed to counter him. I suppose he only pops up when he's attacking something. So you've got to have walnuts for that. And there's not really much point in putting them into the top because they've got to gain both benefits. Hence why you'd be better off with a repeater there. Oh god, this looks sinister. <laughs> Tangle kelp. An aquatic plant that pulls a zombie off underwater. Okay, so that's kind of like the potato mine of the water, it seems because of course you can't plant it um, underwater. Okay, next level then. Back to my backyard. Okay, what have we got here? We've got pole vaulting zombies, we've got snorkels. So we can see actual information. Snorkel zombies can swim underwater. Toughness is low, but they submerge to avoid attacks. And a uh, joke at the end. There's always jokes. I'm sure we can go through them all at the end. Alamite index. Ah, yes. Because then you can go view your plants as well. Sinister. Damage massive, but they are single use on contact. Okay, tangle kelps, three peters, squashes, lily pads, sunflowers. Snow peas worked well last time. And chompers. I just don't have walnuts this time. Problem is, three pieces are expensive. I said, Mike, no, I'll just go for it. And I just won't build as many sunflowers early on. Ugh, oh, I should put them there, because now I'm just going to have to keep on reaching over there. 
But yeah, last time I just tried to rush too many sunflowers early on, rather than building up any snow peas or chompers. Obviously I can use the tangle kelps by time, but only in the water. Like, instead of building a sunflower, I will wait to get 175. Probably be better just to use a squash and keep planting. I'll admit. Don't need to be extreme. There we go. Now I should get the snow pea in time. Ahem. <clears throat> okay. So we'll have to use a chomper. But at least now he's there, ready to protect the lane. Provided another one doesn't come down this way. And then I should be able to save up enough for a snow pea with any luck. Yes, and he goes there. So he'll die easily enough. More lily pads are needed. I feel like I should always have at least one row of sunflowers. Okay, I think one of these I'm going to have to squash, or squash the closer one. And then get a chomper for this guy provided I produce enough sun in time. Which I will, won't I? Yes. Positivity. Yes, and the more established I become, the easier it should be. Unless I suddenly get... We've got three waves, three, three big waves of zombies this round. Which means I definitely need to establish more sun, but at a slower rate. I shouldn't necessarily just spend all my sun as soon as I get it. Such as I probably want to instantly eat the newspaper zombie. So I'll have that there ready. And of course, save up for the three Peters. Which I should place lily pads down for. And presumably, I can't place tangle kelp uh, where there are lily pads, but that shouldn't be a problem. He'll get eaten. Yes, for now I shall build more sunflowers, since I've got an excess of sun, until I know which lane the next zombie is going to come down. It's this game I'm a lot more in control of what's going on. As I mentioned in the previous one. Okay, snow pea there, and a squash there. Even though he just managed to swallow in time, so it wasn't needed. Safe than sorry. Get a Snoopy down there. At least that frees up the Chomper to do what he wants. Hopefully, I think he should be destroyed in time. Yeah, it's just about. And let's put down a three-peater here in the middle. And of course, I instead of placing it there and there to get maximum coverage, of course I place it in the middle. Okay, the first huge huge wave is here. I've got barely any coverage on the water. I've, I've been doing that in lots of previous ones. Because if I get a diver... Be able to do that much. If I place one there and then put a snow pea there, he'll buy time for the three peter to destroy him. Okay, let's plant a sea kelp. Tangle kelp there. I say sea kelp because it's in the water. Coins, we need them. I'll watch out for the newspaper zombie, I should think. Now he's really angry. Hmm, I thought he moved faster than that, but I suppose I'm used to fast zombies by this point. There we go, much more stable. Yeah, so I think you need to find the balance between building 
just economizing too much and just building loads of sunflowers and just building loads of offense without any quick more sun to eat him good didn't notice him another diver there we go we've got the layers of uh, chompers and snow peas now so now I can just build up the repeaters Start placing a few more of the uh, tangle kelps, yes. And a new three Peter. Okay. Hopefully they'll kill that. Uh, something there. Ah, he jumped over the squash but then got eaten by the chomper, that's fine. Oh, the chomper. The, uh, the squash wasted itself. I don't know if it actually lasts longer. I haven't been able to check because I've unused it as last minute utility. Right. Good. Yeah, once I've got all of the. Of course, I didn't build it there where it would be most opportune. And it went, went against my rule of building three Peters at the edge. But I'm so rich now. Who can be bothered? I think I've missed a coin there. So, <laughs> please forgive me. Almost got enough. Let's see. Yes, he should just sit there. Since I've got the extra money, may as well just keep on building. Okay, here comes this. Thing is, doesn't that make this level easy? Since I'm already this set up, and it's only the second wave. Because now I can absolutely, with all of these three Peters, I can completely destroy these waves. Not to be overconfident, but just look. Just layer up some squashes and tangle kelps then. Because the three Peters, the snow peas will slow them down and the three Peters will just blast them. Because every lane will get hit by at least two. Like, for example, just pick up all of that. This lane will get the extra one from that, and the extra one from that, and that, and the snow pea. So it's only the top and bottom lanes that are actually vulnerable. Which means I can start digging up plants and placing more three Peters. Plant by plants, I mean, just this and flowers. then there's no chance of losing. So this last section is unnecessary, so just tab out. I'm not going to change my strategy. Yes, you're not getting near Polvot Zombie. You caused me enough trouble early on. Three pieces are very fun, but very expensive. He'll get through simply because loads of them have stacked together. Hmm. The squashes can actually bounce backwards, but they also waste themselves. Like, unnecessarily. Dig that one up, pick up the coins, and there we go. Who could get past this? No one. That's who. And once I add a tangle kelp there, I'll be beautifully symmetrical. Which I'm sure everyone loves. Nobody's commented on that yet. But my incessant love for... I say love. Liking for symmetry. And they instantly ruin it as soon as I'm symmetrical. Ugh. I need to avert my eyes. It's so explosive. Just killing everything. I'm sure there'll be levels where three Peters will be less suitable, such as shorter levels. Like, quick, like, ones that hit you hard and fast. Ooh, a key! Ooh, do I get a car that I can, like, occasionally run people over with? You can now visit Crazy Dave's shop! Go me! Well, as wonderful as that is, it is time to end the episode, and I'm sure we'll find out what that means uh, next time. So thanks for watching, see you next time.